Hello, Liliana Emerald here. I know it's been a while since I checked in with my followers on the old Holotube. I just wanted to check in to let everyone know I'm okay and also to take the time to wish everyone a happy Life Day. What is Life Day? Only the greatest holiday ever, complete with presents, candy, feasts, and family. Uh, what? Oh, oh yes, of course nothing is better than Empire Day in which we celebrate the day our glorious Emperor brought order to the galaxy. I have heard Life Day is pretty much a combination of two other holidays, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Holidays celebrated in a galaxy far, far away. Life Day is a Wookiee holiday and Mr. McClaw has been teaching me all about it. No, Mr. McClaw did not kidnap me. That was a simple misunderstanding. In fact, he rescued me and has been keeping me safe. Now, one of the great Life Day traditions is telling stories of the first time we met new friends. So I think this Life Day, I will tell the story of how I met someone all of you are quite familiar with. This is the story of how I met... Mr. Vader. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak out. Perhaps you should set the scene. Oh, set the scene. I'm in this boring... Introduce yourself first. Oh, hi, I'm Liliana Emerald. Um, I'm nine years old. And I'm in this room that my parents put me in while they're making this speech. It's kind of a boring room, though. There's only, like, two toys, and I get old after a while. I think I'm going to get out of here. All right. But to do so, you're probably going to have to sneak past your guard. A uh, guard? Yes, you have a babysitter with you who is currently peering at you over his data pad, making sure that you don't sneak out. Let's see, I'm gonna go up to the guard. Yes, what do you want? Uh, can I uh, get a glass of water? Okay, I'll get it for you. Wait here, I'll be right back. Okay, see you. He closes the door and leaves. I wait to hear his footsteps go away. They go away. And I open the door and I sneak outside. Go ahead. Oh, I'm outside. Um, I think I'm going to go to the right. And this is a long hallway. Who's that over there? You see someone turn the corner. Or you think it's a person. It's a quick flap of black fabric. Before you can investigate, you hear, What are you doing out of there? What? Get back in the room. I'm gonna run. He starts chasing after you. <laughs> I run really fast, and I get around a corner, and um, I'm in another long hallway. Not a lot of doors, but... Oh, I, I think I see one door on the right. Okay, you duck inside there. Yep. <clears throat> You hear the footsteps rush past, hesitate, and then uh, open a door next to yours. Then a door across from yours, and then your door. Oh no! Dang it! You've had your fun. Let's go back to the playroom. <sighs> Do I have to? It's so boring. So he's trying to think of something better, something more exciting for you to do, and... I run away! You run right through his legs. God, little brat! I'm gonna go back to where I saw that black fabric. I thought it was a cape. I like capes. Okay. You turn the corner, and you run smack dab into a massive... To you, it looks ten feet tall. Wow. Massive man, all clad in black armor with a cape, and a mask that haunts the nightmares of adults. To you, it looks a little bit like a skull, but kind of not a skull. It's like 
an artist's rendering of a skull. Hmm. Because it's not a real skull, it's not really scary to you. The figure gazes down at you, and you hear the footsteps rushing up behind you. What do you do? Hi, I like your cape. The figure nods, steps past you, and stands in front of you. As your guardian rounds the corner... Get back here, you little brat! Lord Vader... Are you accustomed to running in the hallways of the Imperial Academy, Sergeant? Lieutenant Tichel, sir. For now. Your shirt is untucked. Uh, sorry, 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 sir. I'll, uh, I'm dealing with a, uh, a rather disobedient individual at the moment. You can't see him. To control the individuals in your class? No, sir. I, I, well, it, I was assigned to watch over the, a, a child. I. And you couldn't handle that much. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Stand at attention when I am talking to you, Sergeant. Yes, sir. The child is not here. Search elsewhere. Yes, yes, Lord Vader. You are dismissed. Get out of my sight. Yes, sir. He turns around and promptly rushes away. The figure turns to look down at you. Is he normally that messy? He's like... The worst ever. He's so annoying. Hmm. Most of them are. I take it you are Governor Emerald's daughter. Yep, that's me, Liliana. Well, Liliana, it's been nice to meet you. If you'll excuse me, I must go and inspect the barracks. What are barracks? That's... Where the soldiers sleep. Oh, so you want to make sure none of them, like, ran away or something like that, or it's being bad? I suppose so. I, I can show you to it. Very well. And you reach up and grab his hand and pull him along. So, is this your first time in Corita? No, I have been here before. It's just been a couple years. Oh, why only every couple years? The Emperor gave me this assignment. I believe as a punishment. Well, I don't like being punished. Neither do I. I but I've never been like hit or anything. Just like I get grounded or stuff like that. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of stuff does your mother ground you for? Oh, trying to sneak off all the time. They're really strict. I mean, sometimes they don't let me do something and they won't tell me the reason why. Sometimes the reason why will scare you. And they feel it is best for you not to know that knowledge that scares you. Mm. Speaking of which, you don't appear afraid of me. Nope. Most people are. I that? I'm taller than them. And I suppose the mask kind of puts people off. Mask? Like... I think it looks kind of like a party mask. Well, I suppose I do have certain types of parties, but party masks you can take off. Oh, you can't take that off? Well, only under certain circumstances. You see, if I were to take this mask off here, I would die. So it's like... A health mask? I suppose. 
could closely breathe. I suffered an injury several years ago that uh, made it impossible for me to breathe on my own. Oh, that must be rough, Mr. Vader. There are things more painful, but someday I hope to free myself from these confines. Like with doctors and stuff? Perhaps, though I find that if you work hard enough at anything, nothing is out of your reach. So, I take it these are the barracks. Yes. Would you care to have a little fun? <laughs> what type of fun? I say we give these soldiers a little scare. <laughs> Why don't you go in ahead of us? Okay. I open the door. You go in. The stormtroopers start to stand at attention, but then look down and see you. Oh, hey there, Lils. How's it going? Oh, uh, good. Um, there's someone coming behind me. Well, who's this? You make a new friend? Yep. What is it? A squirrel? A bird? It's a guy in a party mask. A party mask? Well, we'll have to put on our party masks too, huh? Yeah. Okay. Some of them grab a couple paper plates, put them over their faces. <laughs> is your friend ready to come in? I think so. And Lord Vader steps in, stares around at all of the stormtroopers currently wearing whatever random masks they could find. <laughs> Paper plates, lampshades, anything. <laughs> the silence is palpable. All you can hear is Lord Vader's continued breathing. <laughs> is this the current regulation uniform? <laughs> no, Lord Vader. Th sorry, sorry. They immediately throw their masks down, grab their helmets, and put them back on, and stand at attention. Lord Vader looks around, locates the stormtrooper in charge, stands in front of him. What is your serial number? AZ-226, sir. He continues to stare at him, the stormtrooper shivering a little bit. Vader walks past him to his bunk, runs a gloved finger across it, inspects the dust, or lack thereof. As you were, Sergeant. Uh, I'm a corporal, sir. Not anymore. Thank you, sir. As he goes to leave, he turns back. It is important for soldiers to show proper respect to Imperial citizens especially ones as kind and thoughtful as this little child. He beckons to you, you trot along behind him, and then he leaves along with you. So that is the story of how I met Mr. Vader. I know, not complete with all the fighting and battles that you used to me telling about, but that is what happened. I'd also like to take the time to set the record straight on a couple of things. Yes, I ran away from my home on Corita. Yes, I got lost and ended up on Mimban. No, I was not involved with the big battle that happened there. I made some new friends, Ping Pong, Zizix, and Laclaw, the last of which was kind enough to give us a ride to Naboo on his ship. After all of the sightseeing there and witnessing the tragic accident at the Emperor's Retreat, I met the famous bounty hunter Boba Fett. He said that my mother was worried about me, so he was kind enough to give me and my friends a ride to Corita. We made it there and cleared up everything with my parents. They then gave us a great gift of an all-expenses-paid trip on board the Star of Empire Cruise Line. Mr. McClaw couldn't join us, but I'm sure he has important business to take care of. Mr. McClaw tells me that on life day, people should try and reconnect with old friends, especially those who work extra hard to hide their pain. 
So that is what this is, Mr. Vader. I know we didn't leave things on the best of terms, and I'm truly sorry about that. But if you ever need anyone to talk to, my hollow blog is always open to you. I hope we can further talk about your pain and all of your anger that you have been feeling and set things aside so that you can find the love in your heart once again. Thank you, followers. And once again, happy life day.